to I think play, the main right? thing that club players want is to know when their games are because you're not playing at the elite level. You want to know when your matches are and that they're going to be reasonably around the same time and that you're not going to be playing starting your like the Dublin ladies started their championship the Dublin Camogie started their championship a week ago started yeah. their championship but a week ago if you divorce club players from county well then you're only heading towards semi-professionalism because you've nothing to keep it amateur but really. there's only if there's only a few teams going to be playing at that mm. end of the competition so maybe you're creating that divide more but I do think if you're going to stop players from burning out if you're going to stop that mm. overwork then there has to be an acknowledgement that playing club and county at the same time is almost impossible yeah. 31 hours is a hell of a lot Like the, the, as Rourke points out it's more people spending time with their, uh, or their county side than there will be their family if their numbers in this are to be believed I mean, I mean even Mick Fenley, Mick Fenley was in here on uh, Wednesday talking about it and he was saying the devotion that you have to give over to the county setup is just incredible um, it was, I was actually talking to him, he was doing a gig during the week as well, and Fenley was really interested. He said, it's time to pay managers. He said this ESRI report lists 31 hours, and he says, well, what happens if you're a manager, which clearly everybody accepts, and Derek McGrath took you know, time out from De La Salle College, that it's probably 50 hours, could be double. So, Are they so, usually paid, though? Uh, <laughs> some, of them, some of them might be, be getting, but, but he's saying make it official. So the difference being that whatever under the counter, wherever things are filtering into various people around the country, but that make it official. So if, if players are putting in 31 hours and the manager putting in double, which is effectively a full time job, and um, make it official. And I was actually at, at peace with Eddie Brennan um, on Sunday. He's taken over his leash. And I was asking him the same question Do you agree with Mike Fenley? He's taken over his leash, senior manager. Paid? Um, well, I said to him, would you like a full-time, should managers be paid full-time? He said, look, it's, it's effectively a full-time job. So he's, he's a guard yes, instructor, <laughs> but, he, but he has his own job. So he's a guard instructor, instructor in the Garda College. And he says for, he'd be in charge for the Joe McDonough um, Cup for the couple of weeks um, of the peak time that I'll be on. He says he's looking at leave or time off. So that to actually do, to manage a county in the second tier competition, a guy mm. with a full-time job has to take a cup, you know, time off that he is already looking at his diary and saying, I don't know whether to block book a week or two, just to manage a county team for those periods. So again, go up to Lee McCarthy's down and to Derek McGrath's, Jack O'Connor's, says time off left, right and centre. So a county <laughs> players on a certain level as well would have jobs that would be, well, yeah, at a certain level, I'd say, would have jobs that are maybe more amenable to, to mm -hmm. playing county well, GA. But you, I think then if you get into the situation whereby you're uh, codifying managers being played, that's not long before players start knocking on the door and go, oh, yeah. well, if... Mm -hmm. Once it's official managers it, yeah. are being played, then how, how do you have how players... How do you say no? Yeah, it's, uh, I think that's a difficult one. Once there's any official pay scale, I think then... The players will go. Well, but say, where, do what, you go? where if, are if you without me? If manager, intercounty manager, are, are, are doing, if the role involves fifty to sixty hours a week, so where are we going next? How do you like that? Is a full time job by anyone's definition? Yeah, but I like I. They are mostly paid. It might be under the counter mm. stuff, but I don't think there's many managers out there taking county teams now for the good of their health and heart. I don't think that happens. I think anyone listening would think we're very naive if yeah. we think that's but, how it works. But if that's the case, so they're. You know, there's obviously a full-time job there, whether there's um, any recompense involved or not. Like, so where uh, the next study, is, it's only going one way. Like even way. club so managers get paid now yeah. in most places, yeah. you know. So, but uh, at what stage, what are they going to do? At some stage, somebody, do you not, if, if the players are saying, you know, this is, we, this, we want to stay amateur, but it's a full-time job, do you not just cut the inter-county time back? You get rid of all the subsidiary competitions, get rid of all the... Um, overlapping competitions what, what and just cut it back so then it's not a, a thing where you need a, a, a counselling service as part of the GPA. If the season, if the demands are reduced to the extent where the hours are cut, surely that solves all the problems. But that's the, kind of the opposite of what inter-county players want. They want more games and more competition and that's why well, we're getting the Super 8s and yeah. the round robins in But Munster ultimately if you, if you follow their logic it's you're heading for semi-professionalism. I think just for the non-GA people listening and probably rolling their eyes at us, Colm O'Rourke does um, <laughs> mention in his piece, there are plenty of other sports people who make just as many sacrifices mm. as Gaelic footballers and herders but are rarely mentioned. So the GA is not unique and the issues with are the same for all sports people. Um, and that, like, 
most um, elite sports people in Ireland, they might be on grants, but there'd be very few people on full, say, Olympic 40,000 grants. Most of them would be on 20. All of that would go on their sport and they're working full time. You saw the hockey teams, uh, the hockey team over the summer, all, most of them working full time. A few of them obviously have got contracts now yeah. to, to, to play abroad, yeah, the, the but they have to move the abroad. The Donnellan brothers from Skibbereen, yeah. um, as Damon Sweeney details, so I'm sure if, an, if the ESRI wanted to include um, the O'Donovans into any study, it, I'm sure that would be eye 